What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling the Apple Store in New York. It's this cool looking glass cube and the above ground uh, shape of the building is just a glass cube with this big Apple logo and then you go down a spiral staircase or a circular glass elevator and then the whole store is underground. Now this is an amazing store and again as I said the the whole upper portion is a perfect cube because of the Steve Jobs' tremendous hatred to for non-perfect cube forms. So that's why they had that design. Okay so now before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and let me just set the units to meters for this I think that's the perfect unit okay so now let's uh, start uh, modeling so first I'm just going to go to south elevation and here I'm uh, going to create a new level so just go create similar and I'm just going to pl place a new level over here then I'm going to change the height of this level to something like 10 meters and this one will be something like 20 or no scrap that let's do 6 here and 12 here yeah that's a bit better then go back into level 1 and let's now create just a floor and let's just do one big rectangle kinda like this okay so once you've finished go into 3D and once you're here you select that floor you go copy to clipboard then you go paste align to selected levels and you go to level 2 then you go to edit boundary go back into level 2 and then you create a little square over here so this will be the opening and at level 1 that's the basement level that's the store level then level 2 is the ground level and level 3 is top of the cube and the cube will be let's do 10 by 10 I think that's that's nice the decimal system yeah okay so 10 by 10 place it kinda like over here and if we go into 3d this is what we get and let's just go back into level 1 and let's close this off with walls now I'm not going to be overly precise because we just need a bunch of walls over here and then select these and attach them to level 2 then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just set the underlay over here to level 2 go apply and here we have this top opening and let's create a wall over here and let's just set this to finish face exterior so now we are creating a wall that's basically just going around our uh, hole in the ground and let's attach this to level 2 as well so unconnected connected to level 2 go apply okay and when we go into 3d this is what we get so we have walls over here now the reason I placed walls over here is because I'm going to be adding some lighting down here and I want the, these walls to reflect the light up to the glass cube and let's just attach these walls to the to this and let's change their material to something white so let's use gypsum wallboard for example that's that's a white material go apply okay okay so we've got this uh, bottom portion now let's do the actual cube so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here to massing and sight go to in place mass just cancel out of this go okay okay so now we're in massing and sight let's set the work plane to level 2 and let's do a rectangle make sure it says draw on work plane level 2 so I'm just going to do a rectangle kinda like that let's see okay so this rectangle works and let's see the distance because it's out on the outside of this wall it should be a bit bigger than 10 meters yeah 10 point four okay that works so let's just create form out of this and let's type in here to make it a perfect cube 10.4 yeah okay so once we have this cube we're finished so now when you load this into the model you can go here to uh, massing and sight you go curtain system and let's just change this curtain system from 3 by 1.5 to 3 by 4 or maybe even 5 just to make a bit larger portions and select these four five sides go create system okay these are too large so let's yeah I kinda overdid it 
so let's go here into edit type yeah let's do this one at two meters and this one at I don't know like three meters go apply let's see yeah that that works maybe we can do four over here apply okay okay I like it now okay so we have this curtain system and let's add some mullions now you don't want to uh, to make them too large because you want to have this a glass frame so I'm just going to change this to this 30 millimeter square that's a very small mullion and let's just place it all the way around as you can see it's really small so you can't you can't even see it but you you want to have it because you want light to illuminate the this uh, when we create a night rendering okay next important part is the circular elevator so I'm just going to go here to a level 2 and let's just find the center of this and that I'm going to do using these grids so let's find the center of this place one grid like that and another grid like this over here and let's just go to architecture wall and let's find this storefront and let's see yeah let's change the mullions all to 30 millimeters square so you just copy this and you just place it everywhere and you just paste it to basically all of these uh, and the reason for that is you want to have the, to, uh, to have the same uh, mullion for both the the wall these walls and the circular elevator and let's just change the spacing to point 0.8 meters go apply okay and let's do the circular elevator here kind of like that okay so we have that going to 3d okay and it's going above ground and you want it to actually be going lower so go from level one and unconnected and let's do 10 meters unconnected yeah okay I liked the the way this is shaping out to be so the next thing we want to do we want to create the uh, Apple logo that's the one of the most important parts of this building so you're just going to go here to component and open this model in place go here search for generic models open it up and let's call it generic model one who cares go into level one and now let's create a reference plane along this here uh, grid line and let's just call it one okay so now go to south elevation in order to view it so go south elevation yeah and let's turn on a uh, wireframe just to see where this uh, finishes uh, off this elevator so now go into create and before we can draw our apple shape because we don't <laughs> we can't do it from memory we need to go to insert load image and okay and now I'm just going to go to desktop and use this Apple logo image I downloaded from the internet and let's just place it over here make it maybe a bit smaller yeah this works as far as size goes I like it maybe center it a bit more okay so we have this Apple logo so now we need to create it into a family and it needs to be a glowing family so just go to extrusion pick a plane plane number one that's the one we created for this and go here and I like to use the arc tool just because of the simplicity and I prefer it over a spline because you can offset it and you can't really offset a spline so I'm just going to go kinda like this it doesn't have to be perfect you're going to be rendering it from a distance so don't worry about that kinda maybe do one over here one over here now one big arc for the little bite point maybe make one like this one like this and one over here okay so we have this portion of the apple and let's do the little the little leaf on top and let's do it like that let's trim and extend to connect these two okay so once you have this you just go finish and for the material go by category and let's search for glass and you just scroll down and you have this high luminance material so you load that one in and now this glass will be glowing in your night renderings and the day renderings also so that's quite cool and now let's delete the image we don't need it so here's the apple we have but we don't want the whole thing to be glowing we want to have some non glowing edges that's just what I like to have so how do you create that you go again to create extrusion uh, same plane so choose that one and you just go with this pick lines and 
you just go all the way around and you pick all of these lines or you can use just the tab key to select all of them and then you use the same thing and just give it an offset of I don't know like 0 0.05 so this is like 5 centimeters and let's see does it okay this works okay and you just go finish and now for this let's give it some white material so we can use that same gypsum wall board yeah okay so once we have this let's go into 3d yeah this looks quite all right so let's just finish it and now we need to add some lighting now usually you would have some lighting coming from the store but because we only need a night rendering from this image I'm just going to load in some normal light and then we're going to edit that light to make it illuminate this whole building so how do you do that you go to let's go to level one that's this bottom level and let's go to insert load family and let's jump back a folder go into us metric and let's search for lighting architectural internal lighting and let's see do we have some kind of lighting that yeah these lamps look nice so let's search select one of these lamps let's use the standard one I guess that's normal go into architecture component and you just place one of these over here then select it go into edit family and now we're going to destroy this family to get what we need so I'm first going to delete this uh, shade and then select this go into edit properties and here this is 90 degrees so I'm just going to type in minus 90 go apply and as you can see the slight direction changed towards up and then I'm going to go here and change all of this so luminance I'm just going to add a couple of zeros over here to make it extra bright and here I'm going to change this to Xanon, Xanon, I don't know, so <laughs> to make it uh, just white, so this is uh, 6000K, so that's really white, so just go apply, OK, so this is a really white light, so just load it into project, override components, and let's just go into south elevation and see this light, OK, as you can see now it's on the ground, so we want to make it kind of be closer up, so I'm just going to go to edit family, open the, these views and go to elevations let's go to I don't know front elevation and select this and maybe unpin it and then just move it all the way up I don't know by four meters like that and now let's just load into project and now th this light is closer up and now ju we just need to make a bunch of them so go to level one go to array and let's type in eight click here last and just go like this then select all of these we don't need this again array 8 last and you go all the way to this side so we have just a bunch of lights of course if you're working in a project you would probably design a light system but we're just looking for a quick rendering right now so this will do just fine so this is what we have as you can see the lights are there but the light source is actually closer up here okay and let's do the rendering that's the the most fun part and place a camera kind of like this let's see okay this okay we're underground that's the problem so let's see let's change this to eye elevation should be okay can we change no let's create a new camera that's probably easier so just delete this view go into level two okay we're upstairs so just create a camera kind of like this okay and we need to angle it a bit up so kind of look up and let's just extend this not that much so just extend extend this by a bit okay so this is a decent angle and let's just render it right now so just type in double r for render and here for settings go for high or even best because when you're rendering a night rendering with lots of lights you want to have a high setting go to printer and let's just leave it at this and let's see for the uh, this scheme scheme I'm just going to go to let's use interior and we're going to go artificial only because this is a night rendering and I'm going to interior just because it will crank up the brightness automatically and let's just hit render and here you go this is what we get this is the amazing rendering and as you can see we've got some reflections even over here I like that so there you go that's a night rendering of this light cube for the Apple store in New York
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.